On Wednesday, President Vladimir Putin reminded the West that Russia was technically prepared for nuclear war and that sending soldiers to Ukraine would constitute a substantial escalation of the fight. Welcome everyone, in today's video, we're going to tell you Russia reveals terrifying nuclear weapons that could destroy US cities. When asked if Russia was truly prepared for a nuclear war, Putin, 71, responded, from a military technical standpoint, we are, of course, ready. But before we proceed the further video, if you're new to this channel, remember go ahead and to hit the bell icon to subscribe so you won't miss the informative videos we will upload in the future. Putin, addressing ahead of a March 15-17 election that will almost certainly give him another six years in office, emphasized that the nuclear war scenario was not rushing and that he saw no need to use nuclear weapons in Ukraine. Putin said the U.S. recognized that if American forces were placed on Russian territory or in Ukraine, Russia would regard the move as an intervention. Moscow claims to have annexed four Ukrainian areas, declaring them totally Russian. In the U.S., there are enough specialists in the field of Russian-American relations and in the field of strategic restraint, stated Russian President Vladimir Putin. Therefore, I don't think that here everything is rushing to it, but we are ready for this. The Biden administration has stated that it has no intentions to send soldiers to Ukraine, but has emphasized the importance of passing a blocked security aid package that would provide Ukrainian military with the weapons they require to continue the fight, which is now in its third year. The White House did not immediately react to a request for comment on Putin's words on Wednesday but it has previously stated that it has seen no indication that Russia is prepared to deploy nuclear weapons, despite what it considers Putin's nuclear saber rattling. Mykolo Podoyak, a top Ukrainian presidential official, said in a statement to Reuters that Putin's nuclear warning was propaganda intended to terrify the West. Putin, realizing that things are going badly, continues to utilize classic nuclear hyperbole with the old Soviet hope be scared and retreat," said Patyalak, who believes such discourse indicates Putin's fear of losing the battle. However, at a press conference in Tokyo on Thursday, Rafael Grossi, the head of the UN nuclear watchdog, downplayed the danger of a nuclear conflict. I don't think we see conditions for the use of nuclear weapons right now. If we're talking about the war in Ukraine, said Grossi, who met with Putin last week. The Ukraine war has produced the most serious crisis in Moscow's ties with the West since the 1962 Cuban Missile Crisis. Putin has often warned of the dangers of nuclear war, but claims he has never felt the need to use nuclear weapons in Ukraine. In an election year in the United States, the West is debating how to defend Kyiv against Russia, which already occupies about one-fifth of Ukrainian land and is rapidly expanding its military capabilities. Kyiv claims it is defending itself against an imperial-style war of invasion aimed at erasing its national character. Putin claims he sent tens of thousands of troops into Ukraine in February 2022 to protect Russia's national security from a hostile West. Putin reiterated that the use of nuclear weapons is outlined in the Kremlin's nuclear doctrine, which specifies the conditions under which such a weapon would be used. Broadly, in response to an attack using nuclear or other weapons of mass destruction or the use of conventional weapons against Russia, when the very existence of the state is threatened. Weapons exist in order to use them, Putin stated. Putin's nuclear warning was issued alongside another offer for negotiations on Ukraine as part of a new post-Cold War delineation of European security. The United States claims Putin is not prepared for genuine talks about Ukraine, According to Reuters, the United States rejected Putin's proposal for a ceasefire in Ukraine to halt the fighting after talks with intermediaries. U.S. Central Intelligence Agency Director William Burns stated this week that without additional Western backing, Ukraine would lose more land to Russia, emboldening Chinese President Xi Jinping. Burns, a former U.S. ambassador to Russia, told the Senate Intelligence Committee that it was in the U.S.'s best interest to help Kyiv strengthen its position ahead of talks. Putin stated that Russia will require formal security guarantees in the case of a deal. I don't trust anyone, but we need guarantees, and guarantees must be spelled out. They must be such that we would be satisfied. 
Russian President Vladimir Putin stated, Putin's nuclear weapon playbook, UK's terrifying leaked military files, reveal Russia's threshold for unleashing nukes is lower than ever feared, with Kremlin's forces already rehearsing scenarios for tactical strikes. Leaked military files have indicated that Russia's threshold for using nuclear weapons is lower than previously thought. According to the documents, the Kremlin soldiers have already practiced tactical strike scenarios in the early stages of a battle with a global power. A total of 29 secret Russian military papers from 2008 to 2014 are addressed, including specifics on how wargaming could play out and presentations for naval officers discussing operating rules for nuclear weapons usage. A nuclear response could be triggered by an enemy entering Russian territory, but there are also more specific examples, such as the destruction of 20 of Moscow's strategic ballistic missile submarines, according to classified documents obtained by the Financial Times and reviewed by experts. This is the first time we've seen documents like this. Reported in the public domain, Alexander Gabwev, head of the Carnegie Russia Eurasia Center in Berlin, told the outlet, According to classified documents, an enemy entering Russian soil may spark a nuclear retaliation. But there are also more specific instances, such as the obliteration of 20 of Moscow's strategic ballistic missile submarines. They demonstrate that the operational threshold for employing nuclear weapons is quite low if the intended outcome cannot be reached through conventional means. Russia's tactical nuclear weapons can be delivered by land seaborne missiles, or aircraft. They were designed for limited combat use in Europe and Asia, while larger strategic weapons were developed for targeting targets in the United States. Experts argue that the files, which date back more than a decade, are consistent with Russia's present military policy. The proposals highlight long-standing fears of China among Russian security officials. Despite Putin's efforts to establish connections with Beijing, including a nuclear no-first-strike deal signed in 2001. As the ties deepened, documents show that Russia's eastern military area was prepared for a variety of scenarios that may result from a Chinese attack. The scenarios provide an insight into how Moscow regards nuclear weapons as vital to its defense strategy. One example illustrates that Russia, known as the Northern Federation in the war game, may respond with a tactical nuclear strike to prevent the South from sending in a second round of invading forces. China's foreign ministry stated that there was no cause to be skeptical of Russia. The Treaty of Good Neighborliness, Friendship, and Cooperation between China and Russia has legally created the concept of perpetual friendship and non-enmity between the two countries, said a spokeswoman to the Financial Times. A single image from a video provided by the Russian Defense Ministry shows what it said was a Russian nuclear-powered submarine sailing during the military drills. Umka, 2022 in the Chukchi Sea in September 2022. Putin's spokesperson stated today that the threat theory has no market in China or Russia, adding that the threshold for the use of nuclear weapons is very apparent and clearly out in the doctrine. The official stated that Russia has serious reservations about the veracity of the materials cited. A training session for naval officers, unrelated to the China war scenarios, outlined broader criteria for launching nuclear bombs at a target. An adversary infiltrating Russian territory, the defeat of border securing units, or an impending enemy onslaught with conventional weapons were all highlighted. Last week, a close Putin advisor and former president warned the West that Russia is capable of launching a nuclear war unintentionally. Dmitry Medvedev, now deputy head of Putin's Security Council, warned impotent Western leaders that they are miscalculating the probability of nuclear war, both as a deliberate decision by Putin and as a horrific accident. This clock, which is ticking in a certain direction, has now accelerated very substantially. Medvedev warned, pointing to the obvious threat to all of humanity. And in this, I see the ineptitude, forgive me, the helplessness of these Western authority, he continued. They keep reiterating the same thing. No, the Russians are scaring us and they will never do it. It came just days after the ex-president vowed to destroy the UK, us Ukraine and their allies if Moscow was forced to give up occupied areas. 
he stated that restoring Russia's 1991 borders would result in a global war with Western countries. He threatened to use Russia's nuclear arsenal against Kyiv, Berlin, London, and Washington, as well as other historic places. Critics argue that Medvedev's threats, as one of Russia's most strident pro-war broadcasters, are meaningless. However, recent rhetoric has emphasized Russia's readiness to use nuclear weapons if surrounded and faced the loss of occupied areas. Sad as it may sound, this nuclear war possibility is real, stated the ardent Putin ally in his most recent presentation. We must do everything we can to prevent this from happening. If it comes to our country's life, as I previously stated, what choice does the leadership the head of state have? He continued. He stated unequivocally, this is a direct and clear threat to all humanity. Second, everyone is vulnerable to accidents, and the accidental unintentional commencement of a nuclear conflict cannot be ignored. So, all these games in Ukraine are highly risky. That's all for today's video. The former president, who ruled from 2008 to 2012, warned that if Russia lost the war, London and other Western capitals would be destroyed. Don't forget to like the video and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any new videos from our channel. Thanks for watching and see you all soon.